What darkness lies in the heart of a caretaker turned predator? In the shadows of an ordinary life, a sinister truth lurks, waiting to be uncovered. This is the tale of two innocent lives, Lexi and Scarlett, tragically snuffed out in England, 2018, under circumstances so disturbing they shook the very core of a nation. Behind the veil of normalcy, Louise Porton, a mother to the world but a monster in disguise, embarked on a chilling path that defied all that is sacred about motherhood. Join us as we unravel silenced innocence, the disturbing case of Louise Porton. Louise Porton, born in 1996 near Rugby, England, emerged into a world seemingly typical, nestled within the embrace of a family that mirrored the ordinary. Yet, beneath the surface of this mundane existence, signs of a deeply troubled individual began to manifest early on. Unlike her siblings, who thrived on familial bonds, Louise displayed a stark indifference to these connections, often retreating into her own isolated world. From an early age, Louise's interactions were marked by a cold detachment, unusual for a child her age. Family gatherings, a time for warmth and joy, became stages for her disquieting aloofness. Witnesses within the family circle recounted how she would sit apart, her gaze fixed, harboring an unsettling hostility that belied her years. This behavior escalated from passive aggression to active hostility. Incidents were recounted where younger relatives, drawn to her by the innocuous curiosity of childhood, were met with outright aggression. Her cousin's tales of being pushed away, or worse, physically assaulted for mere proximity, painted a portrait of a child far removed from the benign struggles of youth. Louise's adolescence did not usher in the warmth of maturation, but instead solidified her path of manipulation and aggression. Her early teenage years were marked by a cunning that allowed her to evade accountability, a trait all too alarming for someone so young. Theft, particularly from those most vulnerable like her own grandmother, became a testament to her growing disregard for familial bonds and societal norms. Her family, bound by blood but estranged in spirit, watched as Louise treaded a path that veered sharply from the troubles of typical adolescent rebellion. Her actions, far from mere youthful transgressions, were early harbingers of a character deeply marred by an inability to forge the most basic human connections, setting the stage for the unfathomable acts that would later shock the nation. In the grim narrative of Louise Porton's life, the chapters that detail the events leading to the deaths of her daughters, Lexi and Scarlett, are the most harrowing. The story unfolds in 2018 in the heart of England, where what should have been the protective sanctuary of a family home became the setting for an unfathomable tragedy. Lexi, the elder of Porton's children, was first to suffer under circumstances that bewildered medical professionals and alarmed authorities. In January of that year, emergency services received a distressing call from Porton claiming Lexi was experiencing severe breathing difficulties. Yet, before help could arrive, a subsequent call was made to cancel the request for assistance, with Porton stating she would drive Lexi to the hospital herself. This decision, perplexing in the context of a child's acute respiratory distress, marked the beginning of a series of events shrouded in suspicion. Merely days later, the pattern repeated itself with another call to emergency services. This time, the situation was dire. Lexi was unresponsive upon the arrival of paramedics. Despite their efforts, she was pronounced dead at the hospital. The official cause remained elusive, attributed to an undefined obstruction of the airways, but the shadow of doubt had already been cast. Scarlett's fate mirrored her sisters in a chilling echo of events. Within weeks of Lexi's death, Porton reported similar symptoms in Scarlett. The narrative took a darker turn with Porton stopping to seek help, not en route to a hospital as one might expect, but at a gas station from where she called the non-emergency medical line to report Scarlett's labored breathing. When help arrived, it was too late. Scarlett, like her sister, was pronounced dead, her demise attributed to the same vague cause as Lexi's. 
The calls for help made by Porton in both instances were marked by a chilling calmness and a lack of urgency that contradicted the gravity of her daughter's conditions. The official narratives, as relayed by Porton, were fraught with inconsistencies and the subsequent investigations would reveal a horrifying pattern of behavior that pointed unmistakably to foul play. The deaths of Lexi and Scarlett, initially shrouded in medical ambiguity, soon unraveled as acts of deliberate harm. The evidence against Porton accumulated, painting a portrait of a mother whose actions were inconceivable to the public conscience. The investigation delved deeper, uncovering a web of lies, manipulation, and a disturbing indifference to the sanctity of life. The investigation into the deaths of Lexi and Scarlett transitioned from tragic inquiries to a focused criminal investigation, as authorities began to unravel the tangled web of evidence against Louise Porton. The pivot from accidental or natural causes to foul play was fueled by a series of chilling revelations that cast a sinister shadow over Porton's actions and her apparent lack of emotion regarding her daughter's distress and subsequent deaths internet searches. A deep dive into Porton's digital footprint uncovered a series of disturbing internet searches made in the days leading up to and following the incidents. Queries such as, how long after drowning can someone be resuscitated? And how long does it take for a body to go cold after death? Surfaced, painting a grim picture of premeditation. These searches, conducted with chilling regularity, suggested a macabre curiosity, or worse, a calculated research phase for committing the unthinkable. Behavioral Patterns Porton's behavior in the aftermath of each daughter's death struck those around her as unnaturally composed and detached. Witnesses described her as emotionally unaffected during and after the calls to emergency services, a reaction starkly at odds with the expected despair and panic of a grieving mother. Her interactions on social media platforms and messaging services, often trivial and flirtatious, continued unabated, further indicating a chilling disconnect from the gravity of her situation. Forensic Evidence Autopsies of Lexi and Scarlett revealed more than the ambiguous obstruction of the airways initially reported. Forensic pathologists noted signs consistent with deliberate suffocation, a finding that turned the tide of the investigation decisively against Porton. The absence of common respiratory pathogens dismissed the possibility of a natural illness, aligning the physical evidence with the grim narrative suggested by Porton's online activities and demeanor. CCTV and witness testimonies. Surveillance footage and witness statements provided additional layers to the case. CCTV captured Porton's movements before and after the reported emergencies, including her demeanor and interactions with others, which often contradicted her accounts of the events leading up to her daughter's deaths. Witnesses recounted interactions with Porton that hinted at a disturbing lack of concern for her children's well-being, further corroborating the growing body of evidence against her. The aggregation of digital traces, forensic findings, and behavioral analyzes painted a comprehensive picture of a mother whose actions were incongruous with the expected behaviors of a parent in distress. Instead, they aligned with a calculated intent to harm, leading authorities to a grim conclusion. Louise Porton had methodically planned and executed the deaths of her own daughters, a reality as heartbreaking as it was incomprehensible. The trial of Louise Porton for the murder of her daughters, Lexi and Scarlett, was a harrowing affair that captivated and horrified the public. Presented in court was a chilling array of evidence, from the damning internet searches made by Porton prior to the deaths, to her unnervingly detached behavior in the aftermath of her children's passing. Forensic testimony corroborated the digital evidence, painting a grim picture of premeditation and malice. Throughout the proceedings, Porton maintained her innocence, offering no explanation that could reconcile the evidence laid bare. 
The jury, after deliberation, found her guilty of both counts of murder. The conviction led to a life sentence for Porton, with a minimum term that underscored the gravity of her crimes. The judge, in passing sentence, highlighted the unnatural act of a mother killing her offspring, noting the trust and protection children instinctively expect from their parents, which was horrifically violated in this case. The impact of the trial and its outcome rippled through the family and the wider community. Chris Draper, the father of Lexi and Scarlett, expressed his devastation and incomprehension at the actions of Louise Porton. His grief was palpable, a life sentence of its own, marked by the absence of his daughters and the manner of their passing. Sharon Porton, Louise's mother, reportedly succumbed to despair, her death a stark testament to the broader familial tragedy that unfolded from Louise's actions. This tragic end highlighted the profound and lasting impact of the crime, extending beyond the immediate horror to inflict enduring pain on those left behind. The case of Louise Porton offers a dark window into the extremities of human behavior, challenging our understanding of the maternal bond and the capacity for harm within familial settings. It forces a confrontation with the uncomfortable reality that the greatest dangers can sometimes originate from within the sanctuary of family. The tragedy of Lexi and Scarlett underscores the importance of vigilance, support, and intervention in protecting the most vulnerable among us. This case also prompts reflection on the broader societal implications, questioning the mechanisms of detection and prevention of such heinous acts. It is a grim reminder of the need for awareness and understanding of the signs of potential harm within homes, a sanctuary that turned into a place of unimaginable horror for two young victims. The story of Lexi and Scarlett is a somber narrative, a memorial to lives unjustly taken, and a cautionary tale about the darkness that can lurk behind closed doors. For more stories that delve into the complexities of crime and its impact on families and communities, subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Your engagement helps bring these stories to light, fostering awareness and understanding that can, ultimately, lead to prevention and justice.